For News OK, I'm Dave Morris here at the campus of Oklahoma State University for a very cool event. It's the Wine Forum of Oklahoma 2011. Highlighted by the keynote speaker was Argentine chef, famous Argentine chef Francis Malman, who had a great take on everything from wines and wine pairings with food to eating at upscale restaurants. Here's some excerpts from his keynote speech. Thank you, all. First, I must say I'm very honored to be in Oklahoma State University for this dream that is Cowboys and Gauchos. I hate turning food. I, I just hate, you know, that. I think that there has to be a very big respect for that first contact that food has with the grill, or with the griddle, or with the pan, or whatever you're doing. Because what happens generally is that the muscle or the vegetable you're cooking will stick to the pan at the first moment. Why? Because, you know, there's different temperatures of textures. But once the food starts to be happy and being friendly with the pan, they will move away from it. And then you can move it. But anyway, you know, even when I do a steak, you know, let's say I'm doing a steak that will take 30 minutes to cook. I like to cook it nine minutes on the first side, a bit like the <coughs> lamb that we saw. And then turn it over and flip it just for the crust and to finish it. But we must respect that first fall of a fish, of a potato, of king crab, or a piece of meat in a griddle, or in a pan, or in a grill even. You don't want to move it. I tell my chef, you know, if you didn't place it well, it's your, I mean, forget it. You, want, you can't move it. We have to leave it there. That's very important. I really believe that in life, you know, we have to switch. We have to live and sleep sometimes under a tree and sometimes in the best hotel in the world. And then we enjoy both. If we always sleep under the tree, it's a bit sad. If we always sleep in the very good hotel, it's sad too. I think that extremes are very important in life and they go into cooking too. You know, when I eat a piece of fish and it's perfectly cooked and it's perfectly fresh and it just has salt, that it's the only thing it needs really, and I drink a little of, of red wine, which maybe it ha doesn't have much to do with it, and there's this clash in my mouth, this fight. They are both trying to convince me who is better. Is there harmony? No, but they're both great. I can feel them, I enjoy them. But if I have a wonderful Riesling with my fish, yes, I do enjoy it, but it's boring. It's boring, it's too perfect, you know? Why should we, why should we? I, I hate these, all these white parents. I think they're so arrogant. I'm sorry, I probably, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry about that, but you know, there's this, wonderful, there's this wonderful writer that you guys have called Nick Tosh, and he wrote one paragraph in one of his books about pairing wines, laughing about it, you know, saying, you know, that this, he was in this conference, this man said, oh, there's this little bit of iron, a little bit of pepper, and finally I found this little seaweed thing at the end, God sake. You know, what is that? I mean, <laughs> shut up and drink. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. But I mean, I was lucky enough some years ago to have lunch many times at Petrus with Mr. Muex in Bordeaux. And, you know, I was sitting at his table, there was pouring Petrus, and I had a little bit left of, of, of one of them. And he said, ah, finish it up, finish it up. I'm going to give you another ear. He didn't even change the glass. I love that. You know? And this is Mr. Petros. So, and nobody talked about the wine during lunch. Nobody was saying, oh. <laughs> we were all so happy drinking that wine. It was so good. But there was nothing to say. You know, what can you say? I mean, it's, it, so that's, that's about harmony and eating. I, 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 I'd rather have clashes in my mouth and opposites that are both very good and that they, they fight to convince me that they're very good. The simpler the food is, the more difficult to achieve because there's no higher ways. You know, when you, have, when you get to the restaurant and you have hundreds of things on the plate, you should be suspicious because there's so many things hiding there, you know. Okay. What do you want? You want a steak, a nice salad, two things on the plate, three things maybe, never more. And I love to use olive oil and herbs as little sauces, maybe, but oh, we, on the side as well, so you can choose if you want it or not. 